this project java ranking system this developments uh, java netbeans and mysql so for this project you need netbeans id mysql server mysql query browser or mysql workbench okay so you can download mysql from uh, mysql download site and you can uh, download this installer file and you can have the all option like you have to install workbench or server so after mysql installation mysql server you have to connect to that workbench and then you have to create that uh, database so we provide you db script once you buy it you will get all these files like the installation guide uh, synopsis project report and then source code also okay so that uh, first we will create the database for that we first uh, we already installed mysql server and workbench okay so we can just uh, workbench required to create tables connect to database and all the queries so we already installed mysql server you can install any version like mysql let us use 8.07 so first you have to connect your database Now there is no database is already created, so we have to create one uh, new database. So we just go that your script file. This is script file. Open and file. Open SQL script. Select a path. The script path. So here uh, all the database creation table creation then insert statement all the script is there so you have to just select all that uh, and just click on execute so it will create all the tables with sample data okay now if you go that your schema you will get this it is you need to refresh it Then you will get the tables. These tables we created. Now, once you configure your project, you need to have that uh, login details you get in your employee master table. Just select rows. Okay. Now your uh, database creation is complete. Now we'll configure our project source code. Again, we go to the project folder. You will get one folder called source folder. Okay, this is all the files is there. So to just select this path. Okay, then you need to start. Same way you can download the NetBeans latest NetBeans ID. Okay, we are using NetBeans 8.2. You can use any version of uh, NetBeans. This is an open source project, so you can easily download from Google. So NetBeans started. Take some time. So here you need to just open that project and just change that connection to Java file, main class that you open. Where you need to uh, mention your database name, user ID, and password. Okay, it is already. I have just close it. And then again <coughs> Even file open to it. Just we just copy this path and we just paste here. Click on open project. Once project is loaded, you just go to default packages, and there is one. Java class is main class dot Java. Just double click it. Okay. Now you need to mention your database user ID and the password. I am using this password. Maybe in your system you have mentioned some other password. So you have to change here. You have to type your password. If you change your database name, you have to mention here. Okay. Now save it. If you want to change any text or anything, you just double click that file, and you can just change anything if you want. 
like this uh, login dot java once you select any of the file you will get the properties and you can change on the <coughs> text and everything once you have set it just you run the project So you want to change the developed by change. So there is a start from. So you can double click on the text and you can change it. Okay. Now you save it. Yeah. So new text is coming. Now what is with the login name and password? Okay, so you have already restored the database here. So just go there and play master. There is a different type of uh, users. One is admin, then employee. So I log in with admin user. So the admin user ID is five zero zero five and password is one two three. Okay, so I have to just type there five zero zero five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so I have to use the same password. One, two, three. Click on OK. Now the system is connecting to your database. Now so you will get all the menus and everything here. So if you want to change the developed by, so you can change from the design to so employee master. So I want to add a new employee. So it is already in new mode only. Okay, so I to employee ID will be automatically generated. So I'll give the password one two three four five six employee name say only check email ID say admin the new employee is created. Okay. Now, master, so customer. So whenever any customer is added, it will create one customer ID. Okay, so I will just add a one new customer. Say customer name is yes. So password. Now once after customer ID, you can create the accounts. So the new customer is added. Okay, so account type. I want to create saving account. Branch one. So custom account ID will auto generated. So I have the same customer. I want to create a new account. Current account. So, so this is saving account. Current account. Uh, customer ID. One customer ID having the multiple account. Okay. Now transaction. Transaction. So account ID. So I need to know the account ID. So if I forget the customer, then I can go and check it like this one is your form. This is your. Sorry. To go from accounts. One zero four. This is the account ID. One zero four. Copy it. Transaction. Validated. So it will show that current account is zero. So I want to create amount. So ten thousand rupees. We must cash deposit. So. Set. Now if I go again the same customer ID, it will show that 10,000 is the balance amount is there. So I want to add debit account. So we will 2,500. 
you can do that on the transition like fund transfer suppose I have two account from one account to I want to from account number one if I validate so I want to my second account the zero balance so I want to transfer from from to two so I want to transfer one thousand which is Now if I go to again check my amount it will six and five dollars thousand rupees I have transferred to my second account. If I check this account, it is only thousand is balance. Now report. Say I want to report whoever my customer, so I will just type M and I search. So it will show the customer name with starting with M. So I want to find all customers belong with this mobile number. Only one customer is there in this model. I want to check whether that customer having started A. Like this, so you can search report balance inquiry. So account number one zero zero one one zero two. What is the balance? Fifty rupees. I want to check what is the balance, and this will be the showing the transaction. What transaction I have made right now? All the credit transaction and final balance it will show. Like this one user five only one transmission is there. Account statement. Like I can display the account statement. Say one zero four. Like opening balance is zero, then I transfer ten thousand deposit and credit debit so final balance. So the export is option is there, so you can export it in Excel file also. If I go to one zero five it will show only one transaction, credit and the closing balance. Now, if any customer is login, so he can only view this customer menu. So customer menu will be, you can see his profile. Because I am login with that, my ID. So it will show my ID details, one by one. Balance and query. I can see balance only my account not other account fund transfer I can transfer fund between my account only account statement the same way I can view only my transition suppose I want to exit